If you drive a vehicle, you've seen this come up on the dash before, but don't worry about having to go to one of those oil chain shicey shops. I'm going to show you how to take care of this with no problem and even save you a little cash. Stay tuned. Tap auto. Let's go. Yeah. Get a little bit of gasoline. Welcome to another crime scene. Yeah. This little switch right here where the hood is up on it. As you know, your dipstick. Let's pull it out. Wipe it off. Make sure the level is in the area that says safe. You don't want to get lower than that. And also, you want to make sure the color isn't too dark. You want to get closer to it more of a gold clear color if you, and you don't uh, if you see any metal flakes that could be a sign that that the components in your engine the metal could be scraping which which wouldn't be good and the most important thing you can do for the health of your vehicle is monitor the oil you want to make sure that the color isn't getting dark on you and you don't want to let your engine oil get too low because your motor oil it is the blood of your engine you don't want to let the quality of your oil go down or the level of it because it, that is a fast way to kill a vehicle so make sure you always keep your oil in tip-top shape and at the right levels all right we're here at walmart to get the uh, things we need so we can do this oil change we got to get first we got to get us a filter i'm going to show you how to find a correct filter you need and i'm going to show you how to find also the correct oil you need and i'm going to be showing you how this will be done in my chrysler 200 and this is how you find out what engine oil what, what oil your engine takes okay on the oil cap size of the motor 2.4 all right we're here in Walmart auto section first thing we're gonna do we're gonna come to this machine so if you're not sure what oil filter your vehicle takes you're gonna locate this little uh, machine in the auto department Walmart you're gonna hit the start button to cut it on and uh, you're going to look for the make of your vehicle so we're going to go to C for Chrysler click on Chrysler we're going to find your year and the model of your vehicle we're doing 200 size of your motor 2.4 oil filter and let's say let's go with super tech so we can really save some money and then we're looking for the ST10060. We'll look for the Super Tech area section, and um, and there we are. ST10060. You want to find the correct oil based on what it says on your uh, oil cap mine is 5w20 i'm gonna go with a high mileage full synthetic and that's only 1536 add those to the cart let's hit the road also walmart got rid of those stupid arrows on the floor to tell you what direction you're allowed to go in because the coronavirus only obey is going in specific directions so if you counteract them you'll get sick <laughs> apparently up in the air you feel like it'll it'll fall on you i'm going to show you a little life hack that i utilize quite often you want to go up the curb i'm going to show you how i'm going to do that Once you get up the 
card, make sure you engage your emergency brake. Pull it tight, kill the engine, and let's get started. So you wanna get something to block that back tire to prevent any rolling. Normally I would be using my chalks, but I have it over in another vehicle. You'll see that in the future. But I'm pretty sure the emergency brake is enough to keep it from rolling. Also, you want to give this thing a tug to make sure it's not going anywhere. Try to give it a nice little shake. Yeah, this thing isn't moving. Yeah doesn't move items you want to have handy you want to have a socket wrench you have a socket wrench and a cloth and you obviously want to have an oil pan I got this from Dollar Tree guess how much I paid for it a dollar lucky guess so let's go on and get under here All right. when you get underneath here you want to go ahead and locate your oil pan and Look for, you want to look for that plug, look for the plug, located it right here, and there's your oil filter. Let's get it loose. Make sure your pan is in position. Get ready to catch the oil. Oil might be pretty warm. Oh. One little hack that I like to do is um if you, if you can't find the, the correct washer that goes over your, your drain plug, what I like to do is I like to grab some thread tape and wrap wrap the plug back in it. And uh, that'll give me a nice, secure plug to prevent any dripping. Because you, you don't want to crank on this thing too tight. That's, that's not my shot. While we're waiting for this thing to, to drain, if you uh, find this video to be helpful, please leave a like. And if you want to, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please subscribe to the page. Just let me know that you're enjoying this, this page and you would like for me to post content in the future. And uh, leave a comment if you uh, have any advice or if you have any questions about something that I didn't specify about in this video any questions or something would confuse you in this process I'll be sure to talk back to you and let you know uh, any thoughts that I have on it as best I can or if there's any advice you know like I'm only human you can always learn you never know who you can learn from so be sure to comment while you're while you're watching the video also hit that subscribe button please yeah so now that that's all that's all emptied out we got our plug all threaded we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and screw that back in there get your wrench to to get it a little more secure make sure you have it on set to screw back on takes a it takes a 13 for mine at least my 200 takes a 13 millimeter make sure you don't over crank it once it's on there snug yes that's good enough because you don't want to you don't want to strip the threads so once you get your oil all drained out next thing you're going to want to do is locate your oil filter it's going to be located right here 
go going from where the washer fluid is you know you could just pan it over and it's parallel from the washer fluid and there is the location of your oil filter sometimes you're able to just crank this off with your hand but if you aren't able to crank it off with your hand you might want to invest in one of these if you're going to be looking to do your own oil changes from now on you want to You want to invest in one of these. <sighs> Make sure you have your oil pan in place. Catch any oil that's going to come off. Ooh, that went right down my wrist. That is excellent. It's going to be. This thing is going to be full of oil. Oh man, look at that. I've gotten the oil out. We wanna go get our oil filter. All right, this is the new oil filter. Super tech. One important step is when you get ready to use a brand new oil filter, you wanna fill it up. You wanna fill it up with oil because this is where your oil goes through first. Your oil goes through your oil filter first and into the motor. You don't want to let your you don't want to let your motor run dry. Go ahead and get that filled up. She's full. Go ahead and install your new oil filter. Go ahead and give it a tug with your filter wrench. Make sure it's in there secure. And also you don't wanna you don't wanna crank on that too much. You just make sure it's on there good. Nice and tight, it's on there. reading bones right now so go ahead and start adding the oil to your engine and it looks a lot better now too and for the price of 200 you end up taking the entire five quarts. Make sure to hold on to this because you're going to need this lighter. Now we can go ahead and close this up. And you've just completed your oil change on your Chrysler 200. Without getting upcharged at the shop, a bunch of crazy prices on goofy stuff you don't need. Last but not least, the final step, once you've successfully switched out your, your oil, one very important step is safe, proper disposal of your oil. So that's what we uh, held on to our jug for, is, is to ensure that we're able to do that successfully. So. We're gonna take our drip pan. We're gonna take our drip pan. I got one question for you. you what are those? We're gonna dump our old oil into the funnel on top of our old jug that our new motor oil came in. Thank you.
So once you went ahead and drain that off, you can go ahead and take that motor oil, that old stuff, go ahead and take that to one of your auto parts stores, one of your local auto parts stores, or you can take it back wherever you had purchased the, the, the motor oil from in the first place. And they will um, dispose of it in a proper way. Now at all costs, you wanna avoid starting your engine at any point during this, during this process. You do not want your engine on. You do not want your engine trying to pull oil while there's no oil in your engine. But, but now that you've completed your oil change and you filled the engine back up to the proper level, it's safe to go ahead and start your engine. She already sounds better. You can go ahead and take it out of the emergency brake. And now she's safe for you to bring her back down off the curb. We successfully just did an oil change in the Chrysler 200 and now we reached the end of the video please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also leave me a comment if you have any questions I'll try my best to get back to you I'll answer your questions and and be sure to stay tuned hit that subscribe button have notifications on so you can see when I post new content uh, I promise that this page is going to become more and more entertaining than what you're seeing. I like to do a lot of DIY with my vehicles. I prefer DIY as opposed to going to a shop. I'm always learning. I'm self-teaching myself. I'm hopping on here, learning from other YouTubers how things are done. I actually learned how to do my first oil change from watching on YouTube. So. If you guys are new to trying to work on your vehicles or you're looking for how to do things differently and do things on your own, quite frankly, please subscribe to the channel. We have lots of comments. We don't have lots of comments. We got lots of content that we're looking forward to bringing you. So please subscribe and please follow me be a part of this journey and let's us grow this thing together let's I, i'm looking forward to it's, it's warming up i'm going to be doing a lot of of uh tours i'm going to be trying to get to some of these auto shows some of these uh car shows some of these uh we got we got the dream cruise coming up this fall we got quite a few dream cruises in the motor city I'm going to be posting a lot of that content. I want to, and, and if you guys are as enthusiastic about the automotive industry as I am, I don't, I don't like to consider myself an expert. I'm, I'm just the same as any of you guys. So let's, let's learn together. Let's grow together. Let's educate each other. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Let's get our first 100 likes. Let's get our first 100 subscribers. And when we hit 100 subscribers, I got a very special treat playing for you guys. I'm thinking, I haven't, I want to do something very special once I get my first 100 subscribers. Let's, I'm, I'm, I'm a, we're going to start with a small goal because I want you guys to be able to to achieve this so I believe in you guys so I think uh, what I want to do is when I get my first 100 subscribers I'm going to I'm going to I'm going I'm to you know what I'm going to I'm going to drop a freestyle yeah I'm going to drop a freestyle to the, the I'm going to drop a freestyle to this page theme song yeah yeah yeah, I like that. You like you guys like that? I'm gonna drop a freestyle to this page. Oh man, look at this. Hold on, hold on. Look at this green challenger. Summer, it's going down over here. It's a green challenger. All 
love the color green. Love the color green. <laughs> I got probably pissed off that I did that. But yeah. First 100 subscribers. I'm going to drop. I'm going to I'm going to freestyle to the to this page theme song following getting my first 100 subscribers. So, small goal, let's knock that out and, and we we're, we're going to grow together. We're going to grow. We're going to do crazier things from there. We're going to do bigger things from there. We're going to do better things from there. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys. One thing about these drain plugs, they can be pretty tough to take off. In Hollywood, that's what we call the money shot. <laughs> Gasoline.